Hey guys, welcome and thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to show you my Halloween folio that I made. I can't remember where I got this idea from. Probably from Kathy Orta or someone else. Um, I'm sure if you've viewed videos on YouTube, uh, you'll probably figure out where I got it from. But I use, of course, the Martha Stewart collection again. And these stickers I actually got from Dollarama, which are awesome. Look at this, it's like a little... Um, pom-pom spider on there so two different stickers here from the same set and so this out um, folio opens up like this and on this first side we have a little tuck spot here and this sticker um, or actually it's just a, a card uh, I got it from the dollar store also and then this one opens up like this and here is a pocket so I think this I got from Kathy Orta King. I think this is her folio. So I put two little uh, photo mats in there and it just goes right into this pocket. Opens up like this and I have a little tuck spot here that which you could put journaling here and add some pictures here. And then here are two pockets and you could put pictures here and here's the pockets here, which opens up like that. And then there are also pockets here which you could put a large photo mat inside there and all this is magnetized so the folio is like that this is the one page open it up you get your second page open it up a third time you get the third page um, and then here I put in more um, of course two pockets here so another journaling thing and there's another one up here and did I put a little paper in here? No, I didn't put a photo mat in there. But this can go right inside this pocket here. So there's two pockets. And then here I put another little tuck spot here. Um, I didn't really want to put nothing on this page because I tried to make a scenery out of it. You could put a little a picture here if you wanted to and then journaling stuff here and you can put another picture down here but I got uh, this sticker set this whole sticker set it came all together with the crows and the tree and the moon at the, the Dollar Tree uh, sorry Dollarama uh, same with this set came so I first got that right away when I first saw it, I just picked it up I thought it was cool to make a little scenery and of course the Martha Stewart bats in the background then on this side, I have a little tuck spot here, and this is like all the snakes. And then it opens up the same way. And this is the same duplicate as this side, so it's a mirror image of it. And here is the tuck spot here. Whereas this one was spiders, this one now is bats. And there's of course snakes there, so that opens up. You have your two uh, thing in here for your pocket, your tags. I put a little witch here and here again you have your pockets and your tags that go inside there and then this big one here which has a little photo mat in there too so you can put lots and lots of pictures in there and that opens up and you have your little pocket here and of course there should be one in this one yes there is and another one in here and it just goes inside like so and then this one goes back in here. And then a little witch here, tuck spot. So you can put, I just left this one blank, whereas the other one had the tree, I just put a witch here. And then it's all magnetized here too, so it just closes like that. And then here I have my waterfall, and it's magnetized. And this one only has like three on this side. I left uh, these blank. Oh, it has four. One, two, three, four. You just can't see the last one. And then this one here is this waterfall this way. So you get more and more pictures to put in here. And left. So this is how it goes. Like so and like so. You don't want to stay. No. Oh. This one here goes here, and it was a little card one. <laughs> Forgot to show you that. And it tucks right back there. So this is the album itself. 
I love the paper. It was an awesome paper to use in the collection. So guys, there's my uh, Halloween folio. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time.